Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo EVR. You have a Quest or Quest 2 and you are wondering what the difference is if you use it in the so-called standalone mode, so without a PC or console, or connected to a PC. I answer this question for you in this video. You don't have a VR headset yet? Then watch my buying guide which you can find in the info cards now. If you don't want to miss anything about VR and AR on all platforms, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodcoast VR, Opperman Events, Virtual Escape, Slim Beats and VR Rock Prescription Lenses. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! If you have purchased the Quest or Quest 2, you can use it almost immediately after a short setup. Simply create an account, buy games, install them and start playing. So why should you connect it to a PC at all? Doesn't that make things unnecessarily complicated? And what's the point? Yes, it is a bit more complicated to use the Quest on a PC. You have to install software on your PC and then connect to, uh, to the Quest via a so-called link cable. Uh, by the way, in the description you can uh, find some good cables and the link to the PC software. Or you can do it all wirelessly via AirLink. But for that you need a fast and strong 5 GHz Wi-Fi. So now that you have connected the PC to the Quest, or the Quest to PC, <laughs> uh, what's the point? In connection with the PC you have a lot more VR games available. Because you can use the complete VR game library from Meta or Oculus and also Steam VR. There are many hundreds of VR games available here. Links to these libraries can be found in the description below. In most cases, the PC VR games are graphically much more complex and more beautiful than the VR games from the Quest App Store, which you have to buy if you use the Quest uh, alone without a PC. Many VR games also have both a Quest standalone version and a PC version. In almost all cases, the PC version looks better. A good example is the VR MMO Zenit. The reason is simple. If you play connected to the PC, then the PC takes over the entire computing power, which otherwise the Quest has to do on its own. Since PCs with their CPUs and graphic cards in most cases have much more computing power than the integrated hardware of the Quest, much more detailed games can be displayed. Absolute VR masterpieces like Half-Life Alyx, Skyrim VR, Microsoft Flight Simulator or Lone Echo can only be played via PC and you shouldn't miss them. By the way, you can find um, a video with the best VR games in the info cards now. Please note that the PC VR games must also be installed on the PC and cannot be copied to the Quest. You can probably guess in order to be able to play these PC VR games with your Quest smoothly and with high details, you need a gaming PC or gaming laptop. In the description I have listed one device each from the beginner level, middle and high end class. Now, you're probably wondering if you need to buy a VR game you bought from the Quest Store again for PC. Well, that depends on the game. Meta or Oculus has a so-called cross-buy list, which I link in the description below. If your previously purchased game is on this list, you don't need to purchase it again for PC. It will automatically appear in the Quest PC software. If it's not in the list or if you want it on Steam VR, you have to buy it again. At the beginning I mentioned that you can connect the Quest to the PC via link cable or wirelessly via AirLink. What makes more sense here? Well, both have advantages and disadvantages. If you connect the Quest via cable, you can still charge it while playing if you don't want to connect a power bank or you just don't have one. In addition, the graphics are a bit sharper and the response time is a bit better than without a cable. 
On the other hand, if you connect your Quest or Quest 2 wirelessly, you can move and turn much more freely. I hope I was able to explain why it might make sense to connect the Quest to PC. If you have any further questions on this topic, please ask them in the comments below. Don't forget a thumbs up and a subscription and check out the first pinned comment below the video if you want to support me. Thanks for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Wudu.de